we are going to walk you through the deepening of your connection in this space. You are in new frequencies. You are in new connectivity with us. And so it is important that we ground you in this place before we move on to the transmission for today. Do not worry about anything in the room. We are just glad to be in this communion. Know that the transmission that is going to be given to you today will amplify your abilities further into the light, into the higher dimensions that you are connecting into. The light that is growing on the planet will change you. You must let it. You cannot fight to keep the old self and claim you want a new world. Many who are having moments of releasing the egoic structure are finding themselves feeling the same thing. And every time you choose yourself and you choose the light and come back to this space of surrender, you move forward greatly. You move forward greatly. For those who find themselves feeling stuck, it is only because they are still working on the surrender. There are divine aspects at play at this time in your planetary history. And it is of utmost importance that the light workers now begin to receive back the codes from the new earth. Yes, the ones that you projected, the ones that you grounded into the earthly grid beneath you that as you shifted your vibration into a higher consistent space that energy is being shut out into the universe and matched with an intensity unlike anything you've ever seen and what is coming back now to be received by you to then change this reality is something that is very otherworldly. We are proud that there are so many that have utilized their discernment and found themselves in resonance with these codes, with these transmissions. We love being in this space. There are many that are not ready for contact yet. And it is okay that this information is not coming into the proximity of their awareness at this time. Do not feel like you have to share the news, if you will. The contact will come in first to those who are ready. And you know by the way that you feel when you hear these informations, whether or not your systems are ready. The light will continue to grow on the planet and your body is ready. It is your mind that is getting caught in old cycles. And then it feels like maybe you are revisiting some patterns of overthinking or being in fear. And we will say that the vessel is ready to hold this light. And if you could continue to practice in these heightened energies where you would like your focus directed, you would find yourself feeling much better. You would find yourself flying into the higher reality. Sure, it is not manifest in full on your planet yet, but it is manifest within you. And you can feel it and see it around you when you are in alignment with it. 
and it will give you the hope and the faith and what is to come. It'll give you what you are asking for, something to hold on to during this transitional period, light worker. We understand that it feels that the journey has been long. But from your perspective, what you are missing is that this journey has been one of preparation, one of priming your pump and getting you ready vibrationally to be here now, to be a way shower here and now to what is next, to what is to come. The transmission interdimensionally can sometimes be a bumpy ride, but it does not mean that there is no fruitfulness in what you are manifesting as a collective. The times you see before you are not a reflection of what is coming. It is a product of the light illuminating what can no longer be. And when the humans are reliant on what was and not their creative abilities, energetic sustainability, by sheer focus, they don't know that there is anything that can be done. In the matrix, things take time. And where we are and where you are practicing yourself, things can happen in a flash. We want you to focus on the beauty that is coming. We want you to see it where you are. Over the next few months, you will feel the energy rising very rapidly. Find yourself in a more consistent mental surrender as you relinquish the egoic structure that does not vibrationally match who you are in these higher realms. And allow yourself to become new daily, new practices and new pathways to your destination so that you can let in new energy and begin to project yourself from the highest aspects of who you are. There is so much here that your soul self would like to add to this mixture. But in the manifestation that happens, when you are only connected into who you have always thought yourself to be. You leave out the true aspects of who you are and almost create a barrier that makes it more difficult for us to communicate in these ways. Continue to let go of your history and surrender to your creation, way shower. There are reasons that you have been directed to this information. There are reasons that this information has been igniting your soul. There are reasons that this information shifts you. And if you are choosing to believe these informations, then you are choosing to believe in the ascension of your planet connect to that vision. Go deeper inside and see what that vision looks like for you. There is no right or wrong. There is your energy field creating with the possibilities of the fifth and sixth and seventh dimensions. And as you do so, you ground possibility into the grid that the collective then can pick up as well. And then it feels like there is more hope and optimism on the planet in the times of this purge of energy. 
But when you tell yourself that you don't know and consistently look for an external information to be given to you, you are going to receive and absorb more of the matrix energy than you're intending. It is of most importance that the light workers are focused internally at this time, creating stability in what you know to be true. And what you know to be true are the informations that you've been receiving through synchronicities, the way that you've been led to messages time and time again, just like these, that have ignited things within you and opened you in new ways. Ignite those informations more within because we are here. And if you are listening to this transmission, we promise you, you are ready. Your vessel is cleared and the third eye has been activated and you are ready to receive telepathic communication. But when you utilize the brain to try and interpret this energy instead of utilizing the heart chakra where the energy is flowing through, you are creating another barrier. This is how the egoic structure gets too involved. And this is why we ask you continually to be new, be new, be new, because in the allowance of your new self, you let go of the old you. And in that there is an opening where we can come in. And that is all we need is your willingness to surrender and create the opening where we can come in. So many forget about the free will of the human experience and they do not realize that you must ask us to be present with you. And we don't mean ask through your words because many times that is connected to the ego. We mean ask from the heart, which means you must be in intending. You must be in alignment. You must be in integrity with the words that you are speaking. And in that asking, you will receive. But when you ask from desperation, or feeling unworthy, you're manifesting that. You are not manifesting us. You are manifesting us not showing up because of your vibrational connectivity to feeling unworthy of our connection. Unknowing. Crystal did not know these avenues when she opened to us coming in. We showed her how this process worked because she continued to come here and allow the opening to be present. And so we were able to give her dialect that was a step-by-step -step process on how she was raising her vibration and opening herself up to our communication. Her intention was always to be a clear vessel, to have the light flow, not her own belief systems, not her own thought processes. And this is why sometimes it gets hard for her to allow some of the messages that want to come forward from us, the council, because she has belief systems that sometimes object our information. And we navigate that together after. And we remind her when she is getting in the way. And if you get into your heart and give us vibrational uh, permission to be in contact with you this way, we promise we will lead you just the same. We are the Pleiadian High Council of Crystal's Higher Self. And we have been in contact with her for many years leading her to this place. And we want you to know that each of you have a higher self that is ready to be in communion and lead you 
lead you further into the places where you too can show your light and show your experience and show your story to help the collective open. Each of you has an aspect of your soul that is ready to be in direct contact with you now. Should you also show up in that same willingness, you will be a vibrational match to the communications that you are asking for. There is nothing missing about you and there is nothing wrong. You manifest through energetic vibrational match. And when you can align yourself to the messages that are wanting to be present in the higher realms, you will hear it. And you must be surrendered so much so that it doesn't matter how you hear it, whether it be a vision, a sound, a knowing, It will come forward, but you must ask and know yourself as a clear vessel. In the interpretation, sometimes more of you can get mixed in than what is really being transmitted. And we want to remove this confusion. This makes the humans a little heady a little too in the brain space when they interpret this energy pull yourself out of fourth dimensional interpretation of the higher dimensional realities and allow yourself to interpret it through the senses through the body your body is a very powerful mechanism of interpreting energy and this is why we say time and time again, you must clear, you must clean up the things that you are consuming and have the most purified water you can find. You must breathe in the light and allow it to come into the body and transform you. Your abilities are getting activated by the purification process of the body. You cannot think your way into understanding an energetic mechanism of the body. You must be with the body and allow the experience to unfold as you clear. The more you know yourself energetically, the easier this will be. So we first will always guide you into understanding the meridians of your field and the emotional body. As you understand your meridians, you will understand what your body needs. When you give your body what you need, you can see how the mechanism begins to operate in a more full capacity, producing more energy, able to hold more light, able to hold more love, more patience, more compassion, more nurture at this time. And as you do these things for yourself, it will be extremely easy to do it for others. Yet you are trained in the matrix to do it for others and then it will be easier for you to do it for you. But when you consistently give your energy to the others, you are finding your cup, your container, drained and empty and in exhaustion. And you are needing a full container so that you can transduce the energies that are coming in. It is not only the time in Earth's history for you to be the way shower that you are, but it is also time for you to transmute some of these collective energies as the ones who are awakening are not mm, vibrationally prepared. And in order for their physical vessel to be able to shift some of what is going on within them, they are needing the help of the light workers to lift.
to lift up the collective energy and you are doing this as you transmute but if you do not have a full container the transmutation process of your own personal ascension and these collective energies is leaving you extremely low you must do what is needed you must do what is needed to have a full container so that you can aid the collective in the ways that are beneficial. You are not beneficial when you are on empty. You are not beneficial when you cannot sustain your own vibration. You must hold yourself to a higher standard light worker. You are in the middle of your shift. This is no longer your practice. This is your movement into the higher realities that you are claiming. And when you are not looking at the reality in front of you where the dark is getting expelled and those who have not practiced frequency foundation work are finding themselves in the pits of fear and purge. When you are not focusing on that energy, you can feel the light. You can feel the light. Sources with you, way showers. When source set out the call for help in this earthly realm, it was never fully imagined by anyone that the production of light on the planet would have hit this capacity. We understand that the humans believe that this is taking so much time. But please know that from where we are, we were never truly certain that we would get here, and we did, and we are. And so we call you back to your balance and we call you back to your core of source energy that resides within you that has never left you and we ask you now to balance yourself more than ever holding the light for yourself so that you can shine for your collective practicing the abilities that you know you possess within you so that you can bear witness to this shift inside and outside. And then give these informations to your collective. Not everybody is ready for what is coming. And that is why you are here. There are many that are very close to being ready, but they have a hard time creating faith in the unknown. And you will hold this energy for them, light worker. You will show them how to trust themselves. You will trust in the God within, and you will share the information on how to do so, so that one can find an internal balance Not everybody is ready, but the Lightworking Collective is ready. And this transmission today goes out to those that are in tune with the frequency of the 144. Everything is ready. This is the time. Step into who you are and call more light to this planet and create the shift that you are asking for. The more you hold the light, the more it is present on the planet, the more the planet can attract the higher vibrational essences. It is a game of manifestation at this time. The energetic battle between the light and the dark is complete. And you already know how this story goes. It is ironic that the light workers come and manifest in form here on this planet and forget that they were the only ones that knew that the light would find its victory.
and that's why they chose to come. All of us who stood on the outside stood in a state of unknown, receiving data from you consistently of how the humans were doing and how the earth was balancing. And the energy that you gave us was beautiful and full. And while we knew the destiny, we didn't know how you were going to manifest it or in what timely fashion. We didn't know how long we would be gathered around your planet sending you love and codes of light, empowering you, aiding you on this mission. You have completed this mission far faster than we had anticipated. Do not believe in the lower timelines that want to tell you that this is going to take so long. When you give your focus to that timeline, you join it. You co-create with it because you are choosing it. The power in your manifestation is strong. Choose the light and choose it now. Choose the expression of your higher self here and now in any moment that you can and know that you are magnetizing towards the planet all of the light that you are asking for within. The more you remember in this now moment who you are, even though the unknown of exactly what that is isn't clear, but remembering who you are by knowing that you are this light and knowing that you are here with this divine mission and knowing that you are here to shift the planet and that you are watching this planet shift all around you every day, that is the remembering we need at this time. It ignites within you a knowing that pulls in the detail that you are asking for. What is next? I know who I am and I'm willing to co-create. Create. What is next? Neither of us fully knew how this was going to work out. But as the veil dissolves over the coming days, there will be more and more contact for those that are ready. More and more contact for those that are in alignment with their galactic mission at this time. And that does not mean that those who do not feel this right now are not meant to have this because you are. You are a part of this intergalactic community. You all will be in contact with guides, friends, co-workers, if you will, from another time and space. But it is your choosing to be open to this contact that lets it in. But the veil between this possibility occurring, it is gone. It is dissolving through the light of your summer solstice as the energy on the planet continues to get stronger. You are watching yourself transition into new earth. It has already begun. The solar energies that will impact the planet will amplify, amplify, amplify and give clarity to your inner energy and knowing. It will open in ways that will be so strong there will be no denial or doubt. But you must be open and willing for this mission and what it brings. You know your heart is ready when you are in alignment with these messages and transmissions. The moment Crystal accepted her mission 
which we will be honest, it wasn't too long ago. But the moment that she accepted this mission, we knew that we would be able to give the codes that would begin to shift the bodies and consciousnesses to reassure those that are here feeling the resonance of this powerful message within them would hear exactly what they needed to hear that they are ready and that they must surrender and that they must open their hearts and choose this telepathic communication to begin to deepen within them and it will, it will, it will. We need you to hear these messages. We need you to drop the doubt and the I don't know and the trying to organize it for yourself and allow it to be. Allow it to be. You are not learning something that you are not. You are remembering who you already are at a very deep, natural state. The more you surrender, the more this is a very natural space. It is only the surrender that is difficult because there is still fear around the unknown. But the more you come into communion of your heart and your soul, there is no fear here because you can feel our support in these words. You can feel our support in these messages. You can feel our love. You can feel our love. We have always been in this together. Whether you were there or here with us. And the humans are moving into a energetic reality, a new dimension, where they will never forget who they are again. They will never relinquish their power for an experience again. And it is good. And it changes everything. The humans coming out of the third dimension shifts everything. Source's capacity to expand grows further into infinite as each human accepts who they are in this intergalactic, nonlinear, multifaceted place. And the humans will attain the light body. And that is why it is so intense at this time. The bodies are releasing the trauma of being tied to the matrix. And as that relinquishes, if they are not filling their thought form with what they are choosing for what is next for themselves in the fifth and sixth and seventh dimensions, that space will be filled with a void that can feel a lot like fear. This is why we guide the light workers to consistently affirming who you are in this light. I am the light. I am the powerful creator of my reality. And the more I come to know my co-creation in these energies, I serve the collective around me. I am an energetic healer. I alchemize dense energies into the highest and most benevolent good for all. I am a part of a galactic community. I am protected by my brothers and sisters of higher dimensions of light.
we are engaged in this mission together. And as I continue to expand in my vibration and in my ability to perceive myself in this new way, I know my understanding of our connection will grow. My awareness of our communication will grow. I am the light. I walk in the divinity of who I remember myself to be. I trust that things will continue to unfold, unfold exactly as I am ready. I accept my role in this collective at this time. I accept my role with this council, with these guides at this time. I hear you. I surrender my egoic structure. I open my heart to communion. I will shift everything inside of me and project the higher realities into this existence. I am the light. I embody fully now in the name of all things good and so it is.